So the other day I was looking at my one-year-old Katahdin Dorper Cross ewe lamb and I felt like a really bad sheep mom. So I looked down at her feet and her hooves are just way overgrown. Um, I have not clipped them or done anything to them since we got her a year ago. So um, it's important that I get in there and trim her hooves. And so we're going to try that today. Um, I've never done it on her before. I've done it on our goats. So I'm familiar with the process, but this will be interesting with her. Um, so hopefully it will go well. All right, so if you have sheep, you need to understand the importance of hoof care. I neglected that this past year, but thankfully I only had one ewe and it did not cause any problems for her. But good shepherding does involve vigilance and checking their hooves regularly for growth, damage, injury, and can be a good indicator of disease. The rate of growth is affected by a number of different factors. Um, including your soil characteristics and moisture, and also specific nutrition, genetics, and breed characteristics. Uh, sheep whose nutrition comes primarily from hay and grazing will need less vigilant hoof care than those receiving regular portions of rich grain. It's important to have the right tools for sheep hoof care. You'll need a good set of foot pairing shears. Uh, these are also known as foot rot shears, but doesn't sound very appealing to me. A hoof rasp is helpful for smoothing the rough edges on freshly trimmed hooves. This is the wooden device that I'm using in this video um, and you'll see me rubbing back and forth. Think of it as a giant nail file. There's an, also a number of different types of sheep handling equipment that you can purchase to make it easier like a turn or tilt table and an elevated platform. But if you don't have one of those, um, then flipping and holding is very effective. You just need to make sure you have a strong partner with you to help you out. So once you have the sheep in position, you're ready to begin trimming. Uh, first take a firm hold on the sheep's leg, then examine the hoof carefully for signs of damage or infection. If there's a very bad smell that's not just the manure that's stuck in between the hoof cracks, um, then that indicates infection and you need to treat that immediately. Um, next, you're going to remove the debris or manure with the, um, the tips of the shears, as you can see me doing here. Um, you're going to use your hoof shears to trim the excess hoof material from around the pads of the hoof. Um, you will actually see the hoof um, growing over. Those are the areas that you want to trim off, um, just like a long nail that once it gets... Um, too long on your finger or that you see in like those Guinness books of world records where they start to curve over that indicates that it's way too long and you want to just trim it so that it's even with the pad of the hoof. Next you'll use the rasp just like a nail file and you'll smooth the edges. When you're finished the hoof should look well squared and flat. In the next clip you will see me doing an up close uh, trimming of one of the hooves. Go ahead, you're good now. I just need to sit up. So. It's better for you, I promise. You'll be a lot happier in there. Almost done. Oh, my God. 
Oh my gosh. On the toes. <laughs> have not done your toes ever. Right. She's yet to be bought or bought her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna like it when you stand up. <laughs> so I can tell you. Nope. Oh. Almost done. Almost done. Okay. Where's my where's my thing? Okay. <laughs> my legs are burning. <laughs> I know. Almost, almost. Are those spots where nipples don't drop? What? There's indents on the sides of her back. Yeah. There's one on each side. So I asked. Thanks for putting me so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think it's fine for now. Okay.